Ja, hallo und willkommen zurück bei The Walking Dead. Wir starten heute in Episode 4 von Season 2. Und wie immer gibt es am Anfang einen kurzen Rückblick. Und wie immer werde ich da nach Möglichkeit nicht dazwischen sabbeln. Wobei, so wie es aussieht, lässt der Rückblick diesmal einfach Bilder für sich sprechen. Das heißt, ich kann auch ruhig was dazu erzählen. Ich würde das Ganze nicht stören. Und wir enden an der Stelle, wo wir uns durch die Beißerhorde geschlichen haben. Und von da an schauen wir jetzt mal, wie es weitergeht. Ja, natürlich läuft das alles nicht ganz so reibungslos, wie wir uns das vorgestellt haben, aber das war ja zu erwarten. Wir verhalten uns jetzt mal besser leise. Anything? 
If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. Oh, dann bleiben wir da mal dichte dran. Scheinbar haben wir es tatsächlich geschafft, auf die Art und Weise. Ja, mein Übersetzungsfeil macht gerade mal wieder, was es will. Wir sind, wie gesagt, in Episode 4. Und ich hoffe, wir finden schnell raus, wo die anderen geblieben sind. Everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... <gasps> I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> the 
Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm just worried, worried about you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Being angry won't help anything. No, because it's sure as hell helping me. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! For the last time, just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back that man's going through. At least you tried. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. They can't just keep sitting around waiting. 
Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them, one way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Ja, dann schauen wir uns doch mal um, ob wir irgendjemand von den anderen finden. Einfach weiterziehen macht ja tatsächlich keinen Sinn. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other, turning on you. They're not bad people, but there have been problems before. I don't always agree with what they say or do. Neither do I. Look at Kenny. I don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. I could have what? Never mind. There are things I don't like remembering, too. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Whoa, you really were mean. What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. Yeah, we should check him out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Let's 
see what else he's got. I'll check this one. So, dann schauen wir doch mal. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there. But you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Oh, die Brille kennen wir doch. There's Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! Goddamn! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Da scheint wohl tatsächlich noch jemand am Leben zu sein, den wir kennen. Aber er nicht. Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick. Dann erlösen wir ihn doch mal. Oder noch mal. Vielleicht hätten wir uns eine scharfe Axt anlachen sollen. Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? It never gets any easier, does it? As in for me. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. Ow, what the fuck? How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yo, don't need monster, You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. 
Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Not like you. You can't do this. It's gonna take some work to get over there. Let's see if we can find anything over there. Ja, dann nehmen wir doch gleich mal, was wir gelernt haben. Einmal aufs Knie und einmal in den Hinterkopf. You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we here? might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their I attention? You. I can't help you if you don't. I got you covered. Ja, da schauen wir doch mal, was wir hier so zur Verfügung haben. Fernseher hat zwar schon mal funktioniert, aber der hier wird keinen Strom haben. Ähm, nein. Können wir da nicht einfach... Hm. Ist ein bisschen moppelig, ob wir den da drauf gehieft kriegen. Ja, einmal drin rumgerührt. What are you thinking? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. So, schauen wir doch mal, ob wir den da reingequetscht kriegen. Ist ja jetzt nicht gerade der Schlankste von denen. Aber bis hierhin sieht es ganz gut aus. Da hupt er auch schon für uns. Gerade wollte ich noch sagen, da werden aber nicht die einzigen sein, die hier in diesem Teil rumrennen. Crap, we gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. 
So, stellen wir doch mal schnell den Schrank davor und hoffen, dass da nicht noch mehr drin sind. Y'all banging through the door. Luke, are you all right? I'm, uh, I'm walking. I can't do much else though. Sarah, she's another story. I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look, look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We we have to go now. Come on. We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't we can't we can't stay here. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? It's me. Hi. Ja, und ob wir die dann dazu bewegen können, dass wir hier rauskommen und ob wir dann da rauskommen, schauen wir uns in der nächsten Folge an. Danke fürs Zuschauen und bis dann. Ciao.